What's up guys, Rick at Throttles for Direct, and behind me we've got our Mark 7 GTI. Now, I know in my last video I said, you know, we were either gonna do springs or an exhaust, and I just really wanna go with an exhaust, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. But before we get started, I actually wanted to show you guys the exhaust that we're gonna be installing because I'm pretty freaking pumped on it. So this is the Q300 exhaust specific for the Mark 7 GTI. Now, you might be wondering why I chose to go Q300. Well, we've run NVIDIA's on most of our other project cars and I've always just been very happy with, you know, the fit, the finish, but more importantly, the look and the sound. So let's go ahead and pull this out here. So everything's incredibly well packaged, which is always nice because you wanna make sure that it comes to you exactly how you ordered it. The problem with this is there's just miles of wrapping. I really just wanna show you guys the muffler. Okay, here we go. Let me go grab a, a knife. Actually, let's do this. Let's just pull the muffler out, and then we'll move this giant box off to the side. All right, so NVIDIA's been around, honestly, for a really long time. Um, and like I said before, we've run them on pretty much most, if not all, of our project cars at one point in time. And uh, they've always worked with us, they've been really cool. And when I saw this exhaust kind of pop up on my radar, I'm like, oh yeah. This is uh, pretty much exactly what I want for our GTI. Now I'm just most curious how it's going to sound because that's a big deciding factor for me. And honestly, I've never heard this exhaust. And so I'm kind of interested to see how it sounds and also how it looks on the car. Come on, there we go. All right, so this is it beautiful absolutely stunning the burnt titanium exhaust tips look incredible i'm really a kind of a fan of this like center muffler dual exit and i like that the tips aren't too big but they should really help fill out that rear bumper as well and so um what else about oh you know of course all stainless steel robot tig welded blah 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 all the kind of good stuff uh that we expect but let's get this thing installed yeah. All right, now we just gotta get this thing up in the air. I've got to unbox the rest of that exhaust, get it all laid out, and then we should be ready to take off the stock exhaust. So this is what we're dealing with here. Actually looks pretty easy. We do have to remove this bar here. And then of course that slip fitting. Other than that, the hangers look all pretty easy to get to. Should be fairly simple to get this off. So let's go ahead and get started. into a little bit of a problem with these uh, exhaust hangers. I've never seen one give me such a hard time, but first of all, it's just so thick, right? And then you've got this like gnarly lip and it just won't quite pop over there. So I might have to get creative with uh, some brute force. Let's see. <laughs> harder than it needed to be. So I eventually just unbolted the whole hanger assembly and uh, got the exhaust off the car. 
he was able to get those off. But if you're gonna install an exhaust on your Volkswagen, either get the proper exhaust hanger tool uh, or just simply unbolt it and then use like a big screwdriver to come back through here and then kind of angle it off and that'll pop it right off. But you can see why it's such a pain. So you have this huge lip on that nipple and a really, really thick, heavy duty rubber. German engineering, huh? All right, so now we can start getting the new exhaust put on. Uh, this should go a lot easier because we don't have to deal with uh, the exhaust hanger issues that we dealt with before. So let's go ahead and get this mocked up and we'll get the new exhaust put on. Installed. It was difficult and definitely a two-person job. I think this looks just absolutely awesome. So now the real question is, is how does it sound? Well, let's go for a test drive and find out. All right, so first, even just sitting here at idle, you can hear a little bit more noise. So let's see how she sounds, wide open thr throttle. So we're stopped, we've got traction control off, sport mode on, let's rock and roll. Wheel spin. Oh yeah. And there's 80. So that makes a big difference, even inside this cabin. And the cabin's pretty well insulated from sound, but you can definitely hear a big difference. This exhaust, it's not overly loud. And this is one of the reasons I went with the Q300 from NVIDIA, is that it just has a nice sound when you get on it. Let's try that one more time. That was, why not, right? Okay, here we go. You can just hear it open up. I like the little pops between shifts. And there's 80 again. So I think it sounds really good. What about just like cruising around? You know, you're just cruising, it's not too loud. You can hear it, but the stock exhaust was almost non-existent. I mean, it just really was so, so quiet. And this one, just cruising around, just, you know, you can hear it, but it's not overly loud. And that's, I didn't want something that's gonna be super loud on this car. Now, I still wouldn't mind something a tiny bit louder, but to be honest with you, this one might get louder as it breaks in ground. We just put it on, um, but that's the other thing. The installation, never before have I not been able to in install an exhaust by myself. And this is one of those few instances where I literally couldn't do it by myself. I had to get somebody to come in and help. The hangers were giving me issues. Uh, everything about the exhaust was just kind of difficult not hard but just a little bit difficult and so that's the only thing i would recommend is if you are going to install it, first invest in a proper set of exhaust hanger tools um and then have a buddy help you out but man i'm really happy with this so now we can move on to springs maybe that'll be our next mod before we start going you know further with this i really want to feel like because again i feel like this car it's it's tight but it just it's a little too comfortable for me. And I think going with a, a good aftermarket set of springs uh, would be nice, but let's just do this. How can you not like that? And that pop, that little between shifts, I think is just perfect. I really like this exhaust and we'll see if it gets louder. Uh, once, I, you know, sometimes the mufflers require a little bit of gunk to get on them and they kind of, you know, open up just a little bit. But overall, I'm incredibly happy with this. This is definitely a good choice. So if you are looking for a, you know, exhaust for your uh, Volkswagen, uh, take a look at the NVIDIA. I know they've always been kind of a Japanese, you know, tuner company. Um, but if it's, uh, you know, if you want to step out of the realm of, of uh, you know, German you know, t your typical German exhaust and stuff like that, or I guess what everyone else is running. Um, this NVIDIA sound and looks really, really nice. Anyway, that's where we're gonna end it. We'll be back next time. 
Uh, we'll be doing some more modifications, whether it's springs or something else. I'm not quite sure, but I might just drive this around for a while. I've got this car for another like hour and I might just go cruise around. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.